Okay, this section of the tutorial will show you some of the random strange cases that can happen when you're finishing solving the edges with the last one or two of them. So here's one case that can happen. All edges have been built except for one, and that's this one, where all the red colors are there, but the two wings, that's, that's what those are called. You have the center edge and those are two wings, are reversed from each other. The colors are flipped upside down. What that means is, obviously, you're not going to peel off the stickers and switch them around. Remember when I said that the two wings are mirrors of each other? They're not, they cannot be interchangeable. This one should be here, and this one should be here. If you can get them to switch, the colors will switch. So here's how you solve that. Here's what I do. It's going to take breaking up one of the edges you've already done, but it's not that bad. Alright, so any random edge you've already done, say the one that's already back here. We're going to do the same thing like we normally do. Bring it down, right, and make believe it's matching. Put it off to the side. Replace with a different edge. Has to be one that's already done, no other choice. Put it back up to the top and fix the centers. Okay, so now we have a few edges that are messed up. So now what we're going to do is find the edge you were originally working with, this one, where the colors were reversed. Here's, one, here's the one that's still reversed. What you're going to have to do is fix this one first, make this one the priority. With, all, with the three other edges that are messed up, don't work on any other one except for this one first. So this one, the other uh, black and orange, has to go here. So line it up and back. All right. And that's what's going to happen. You want to replace it over. So now you see this one matches. This one does not. Okay? And we'll use the third edge, the one that's not done, the third edge that's screwed up, to be our replacement edge. So we'll put that here. So bring it down. Connect. Put it off to the side. Use that third edge that's not done to replace. Bring it back up to the top. And connect the centers back. So now what that's done is it has left us with two centers, I mean two edges, sorry, that need to be still be fixed. This one and this one. And this is another case in and of itself that may happen when you're at the edge of your sol uh, solving the edges, the end of solving your edges. Here's what you're going to do. If you get up to a point where the one that's here needs to go here, and the one that's here needs to go here, obviously you can't solve that with any kind of normal move. So here's what we're going to do. Don't line them up opposite each other, like directly across. Line them up using this move. I showed you this earlier. B. Yes. B. L prime. D prime. B squared. Okay? And what that does did is it brought that piece from here to here. So line them up diagonally from each other. Right? And so here's what this move is going to do. We're going to take this row, the row, if they're here and here, hold on, before I get ahead of myself, we're going to take this piece, the one that's flipped. You have two matching and one that's in the wrong, wrong spot. Take that one, move it up. If it had been that instead of diagonally this way, they were diagonally this way, then you would move this one up. But it's here. So we'll move this one up. And then spin the top twice. Move this one up again. Spin the top twice. Move it up again. Spin the top twice. Move it up again. Spin the top twice. And move it up again. And you do that until the centers have come back. And what that did is it screwed up a number of edges. But now, when you solve these edges again, it will be that you will have no more parity problems. Okay? So, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to solve these edges like normal. Right? And, oh, I'm looking at the viewfinder. Some colors look the same on the viewfinder. Yeah, excuses, excuses. And we're just going to solve these edges like normal. 
you don't necessarily need to follow what I'm doing. I'm doing the exact same thing as if we were working with edges as, as when we started. But what that, what that move that I just showed you does is it screws up a certain number of edges that when you, when you solve all the edges again, there will be no more parity problems. And they will come out that everything will be fine. So now we have all six centers completed and all 12 edges. If I've missed something, uh, please do not hesitate to let me know because I'm sure there are a lot more things that can come up than I've covered in, the, in my videos. Um, and the last step would be to solve this exactly as you would a 3x3.